Hi, in today's video, we're going to show you how easy it is to use Rotary's R1070 wheel alignment system. First thing to do is power on the alignment. Next, attach the three point wheel clamps to the wheels. To do this, use the quick adjustment knob to set the diameter. Then, place the tips of the mounting bracket against the rim edges and push the tire clamps in, locking it in place. Different tips can be swapped out to use the targets on lipless rims. Once all four clamps are in place, install the measuring heads onto each of the clamps and turn them on, making sure each one is placed in the proper positions, leveled, and locked. Now, hit the green button and enter the VIN number, or use the optional scanner. Once the VIN is scanned, select the car model and type by using color-coded keys on the keyboard. Toggling up and down with the blue and yellow buttons and use the green button to select. After the vehicle information is entered, the screen will show the initial target data. The areas that can be adjusted will have wrenches next to them, and the camera icons mean there are illustrations on how to make the adjustments. To get illustrations, press the gray key on the keyboard, then hit the yellow button to go to illustrations, and the blue button toggles between views. To go back, hit the red button, then hit the green button to move forward to the next screen. Now, you'll see animations reminding you to lock the turn plates and mount the measuring heads if you haven't done so already. Now, hit the green button to continue forward. The next screen that pops up is for rolling compensation. But with our system, you can save time and bypass this step with most vehicles by hitting the green button. Now you'll see animations walking you through the final setup of unlocking the turn plates, applying the brake depressor, and jouncing the car. Once done, hit the green button on the keyboard or on one of the measuring heads to move forward. The next screen will have you steer your wheels straight, level the measuring heads, and lock them in position. Once completed, the program will move forward automatically. Now just follow the on-screen commands, turning and holding the steering wheel where prompted. When the measurements are done, the screen will display all of the readings, showing you what is good in green and what needs to be adjusted in red. At this point, you can print out the results to show to the customer. Once you have the OK to do the alignment, hit the green button to move forward to the next screen. Here you will be able to see your adjustments being made live on the rear of the vehicle. To move to the front of the vehicle, press the green button. While adjustments are being made to the front of the vehicle, the caster readings are frozen. If you need to make a caster adjustment, you can unfreeze the readings by pressing F5 to index the caster readings, and then press the red F1 button. This will allow a live caster adjustment. Once the adjustments are finished, hit the red F1 button to freeze the caster readings, and then F5 to index the camber angles. Now you can re-swing caster to verify that the changes were as desired by hitting F1. Also, if needed, the vehicle can be lifted with the rolling jacks while adjustments are being made. Once adjustments are done, the results of the repair can be printed to be given to the customer. And that's how easy it is to use the Rotary R1070 wheel alignment system. For more information, visit us online.